Just about the worst exam nightmare anyone can imagine is to panic in the middle of an exam and be unable to write anything or think straight. And that is a bad thing to happen and there are steps you can take. We're going to give you a few that will minimise the possibility of that happening. If before exams you are really, really genuinely worried that, that, that panicking in the exam might cause you to freeze and really, really affect your chances, then please do speak to your teachers because special arrangements can be made if that is the case for you. So bear that in mind. But for most students, it's an anxiety rather than something that happens. But it can happen for just a minute or two. We're going to give you some ideas about how to deal with it. The first thing is inhale, but exhale for longer. This couldn't be more important because when we breathe fully, it lets our bodies know that we're safe and that we can relax. So on a really primal level, we've got nothing to fear. There's nothing to worry about because we're breathing in a really relaxed way. So if you're sitting in your exam and you're starting to feel really nervous, maybe a little bit panicky, make sure you inhale for maybe four to five counts and exhale for maybe seven. If you're struggling to connect with that because you're still really worried about it, maybe just imagine you're breathing into a rectangle. So inhaling, which is the shorter side, and then exhaling for longer. Just having that vision of that rectangle can really focus your attention. And when you're focusing on just your breath, you don't have time. It's not physically possible to actually worry about anything else. So this is really, really good hack and something that you should definitely try before your exam if you are worried that you might panic at the time. The second thing is get grounded. So get comfy in your chair ground your feet on the floor and just imagine just breathing into your chest and then into your tummy that can make a huge difference if you've got a relaxed body you've got a relaxed mind and when you've got a relaxed mind that information that you've been working really hard to revise that can then come out of your fingertips and onto the paper the third thing you can try is just take a two minute breather that might just be just putting your pen down and just closing your eyes and just taking some deep breaths or it might be that you need to take a loo break and you ask the invigilator if you can go and just leave the room just for a minute. Just having that little bit of time and space can make a big difference. Again, just allowing your mind to just settle, taking a few deep breaths and coming back to your desk. You'll feel so much more refreshed and again, that information will become much more accessible to you. There are a lot of things in an exam that can put you off. One of those things is just looking at a question and thinking, oh, I can't do that, or it's my nightmare question. It probably isn't, but maybe you just think that. Leave it. The exam boards don't mind what order you do questions in, so maybe just choose an easier one or a few easier ones and try those first. Another thing that puts people off is other students sometimes, so somebody else, we all know this, will ask for extra paper when you are still only halfway through your answer booklet. But really, don't worry about that. It just, just means they have very large writing and it's absolutely nothing to do with how they're getting on. It doesn't mean they're better than you. So don't let that put you off or the actions of any other students. You just need to concentrate on doing your best at all times. I would say that it's really important to try to stop exam panic before you get into the room. One of the things that can help you is to visualise what the exam is going to be like. Imagine the journey to school or college or wherever you're taking the exam, walking into the exam, imagine how you might feel, imagine who's going to be there, imagine taking your seat, the paper coming round. Somehow just going through that makes it a bit easier to manage. So I would say visualising beforehand is a good idea and being very, very relaxed on the night before and the morning of the exam to get into a routine, to make sure you've eaten, drunk, water, slept, that you've got to the exam in good time and that you are not in any way rushing at all. So that way you get into the exam sort of ready to work and without any other worries. <laughs>